Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tim Mann here with another video. Uh, the other day a colleague and I were talking about uh, her son getting into scrapping uh, as a hobby and to make a little money. We got on the topic of microwaves, uh, I guess he went home, or she went home, talked to her son about microwaves. He did a little research and she came back today and said his research shows that there is not a lot of money uh, in microwaves. Well I'm here to say that I disagree, uh, both environmentally and financially. Um, microwaves are one of the most common things I find on the side of the road. The nice thing about microwaves is most of a microwave is scrappable. There is very little waste. Okay. A lot of times, my first rule is before I scrap anything, I will, if it's in good condition, looks like to be in good condition, I will test it. Okay. A lot of microwaves are work perfectly fine. People just throw them out because they want an upgrade or um, they want a, you know, a new one. <clears throat> so I've probably donated five to Goodwill, two to friends. Um, so that would be the first thing. This microwave I'm scrapping because it's old and it's very dirty inside. Okay. Uh, what I've done, as you can see, I've already removed the steel on the outside just to, to save time. Okay. But I'm going to go through the parts of a microwave, how to separate it properly. Uh, and just so you can maximize your profit. Okay. So first thing, there is always a nice heavy cord. Okay. This cord is about a dollar a pound. Uh, and we're talking Canadian money here. There is not quite a pound here, but close. Okay. At the end of it, there are some really nice brass prongs. Uh, some people take those off and put those into a brass bucket. Um, some people leave them on. It really, there hasn't been much of a difference in price. Okay, so it's up to you. That's the first thing. The second thing is an exterior shell. Okay, the exterior shell is bolted down with screws. They are normally just your common screw. There are some models, they do have a few security uh, screws on them, which means you need... Uh, either uh, I just purchased one of these sets. It's just an L K or L key set, a security um, set. Some people just grind them off. My dad does that. Okay, so whatever works. Okay, um, this model is a little bit different because it's older. It had two knobs instead of um, the push uh, pad. Okay, but uh, again, the parts are the same. I have not taken anything out or added anything. This is uh, what is inside any microwave. Okay, so. The door sorry, is metal, okay, if I put a magnet to it, it sticks, so this is scrap metal, okay, as I said, the shell is also scrap metal, okay, it sticks, okay, so this too will go in the scrap bin, <coughs> okay, getting inside now, this is your control panel, some control panels have a um, circuit board, so it'll have e-waste. This one did not, it, uh, but it does have steel, so this is, um, again, in your steel bin. Okay, so that is the inside, uh, the exterior shell. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as like I said, is most of the material is right on the side. It has um, some plastic. Okay, this plastic uh, was connected to this um, apparatus. It's got a nice big chunk of copper on it. Okay, it's for, it drives the, the fan, okay, inside to cool off the, the microwave. Okay, so that is just plastic, so that is garbage. I will show you how to take this copper off, okay, the rest of it is steel, but I will show you that uh, in a couple minutes. It had a piece of aluminum that uh, held that plastic and the fan, okay, so that, again, it's not magnetized, it's not stainless steel because it's light, uh, so this is in my aluminum bin. It has a transformer. Okay, now a transformer, if I was to bring in the transformer like this, I would get about 10 cents a pound, okay, as is. So it's about a dollar for this. But the nice thing about transformers is the transformer has two spools right here. And there are different kinds of transformers. Some are copper and copper, some are copper aluminum, some are copper aluminum, some are aluminum aluminum. If both of these were aluminum, I would just take this in as is because it's, it doesn't really give you much uh, money. However, if they were copper, it is worth your while to take it apart and I'm going to do that uh, to show you how. Easy way to find out if they're copper 
is I can take a knife or I can take a file. If I rub the coil, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see a nice copper inside. So that this one is copper. If I rub the other one, okay, as you can see, that one is copper as well. So this is a good thing to take apart because there is about two pounds of copper in here. Okay, so I will take that apart a bit. Okay, now there, as I was saying, there are other transformers. Okay, so this one went from, was from another microwave. As you can see, it has a white or a metallic look. So that means this is um, aluminum. If I do the other side, okay, there is copper there. So this one, again, I could take it out and take the copper out. This one is aluminum, as you can see the metallic. And if I open this, that one also has a metallic look. So this is also aluminum. So this is just gonna go in as is. There is a fourth type of transformer. This transformer was off a different microwave. It does, um, it just has a circuit board underneath, a nice aluminum heat sink, and a nice clean spool of copper wire there um, instead of a big transformer. Okay, so that's the fourth type. Okay, so I will take this one apart in a bit. Okay, the other thing this has is a magnetron. Okay, and the magnetron, I know there's gonna be a lot of YouTubers that say, oh, they're, these are dangerous. They are, they could, um, these little rings, these pink rings, sometimes they're white, do have, they say, uh, some of them beryllium, okay, and the beryllium is very dangerous to inhale. Um, I'm comfortable with it because what I do is I actually, when I go inside of this, I will put some tape around it to protect it, okay? There is a nice brass ring that I will take off. Inside of here, there are a couple coils of aluminum. There are also two really strong magnets, hence why they call it a magnetron, okay? I am a teacher, I use these, actually I bring them to school and we use them uh, uh, to hold the things up because it's very strong, okay? So, first thing I wanna do is I want to take off the brass ring. All I do is just use a screwdriver. Be careful that I am not touching the uh, pink ring, okay? So there is your little brass. And I should also put some safety glasses on. Okay, I need to, in order to get the aluminum out of here, I need to pop off the top. Okay, and all I will do is use a, put in the vise, use a hammer, and a screwdriver. Top comes off. Okay, this is steel, so it's going to go in my steel bucket. Okay, there is a little ring that keeps the magnet in place. If I pop this up very carefully, this is steel. And there is my first magnet. Really strong, really nice, uh, very powerful. Okay, you can use it either for scrapping or whatever else, okay? Now, in order to get the aluminum out, uh, I want to protect myself just so I don't inhale or scratch the, um, the beryllium. So all I do is I take a small piece of tape and I put it around it so that I do not scratch it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and I'm not gonna do all of them, but I will take out some of these uh, aluminum pieces, you just have to separate them. Yeah, like that, they easily come out. And there's usually about five or six of them. This is aluminum. Okay, I'll do a couple here. Okay, so easiest way to put these out is to put them in a vise uh, to separate. You want to separate these coils. Uh, sometimes they're intertwined, okay? But they will slide out. Okay, as I said, like that. 
And for the sake of time, we're not going to do all of them. Okay. Um, there is a couple pieces of copper in here. So if I actually pulled this, and I'm just going to cut there. Okay, this box actually has some copper in them. So if I took my pliers, which are right here, pull these up, and I could open this up if I really wanted to. Um, There are two pieces of copper. Okay, we'll go with my copper. This, because it has some uh, residue on it, it would be a classified as a uh, number two. Okay, there are some brass handles, or sorry, yes, some brass prongs on here that I could also take off. Okay, and the rest of this would just be steel, so it's going to my steel bucket. Okay, so. Again, there is another magnet here. In order to prevent myself from getting uh, exposed to uh, the brillium, I would just put tape on that, but I'm careful I'm not scratching it. Okay, so again, there's a couple other pieces of aluminum that I can get off. Okay, another magnet. So two magnets. And I said, the rest of steel. In the door, there are always, let look please, there are usually about three or four little items like this. Now, if you were to break these open, they have silver inside of them, silver contacts, okay? And what I've done is I've actually opened one for you to show you what they look like. Okay, so if you Look, the little end on that is silver, okay? So what I do is I cut them all off, I put them in a little container, and they add up, okay? They're not, there's not a lot of silver, but this is over time, and what I'll eventually do is put them in some nitric acid uh, and maybe get a silver bullion out of them, okay? So those are, there's usually about three or four in the door. They're in a plastic um, little handle that I just showed you. A couple more pieces of steel. This held everything in place. There is some smaller wire. Now, this wire is not the same grade as the plug. Okay, this, because it's thinner, would be lesser value, so I keep this separate. But the nice thing about this wire is it has usually one or two of these on there. Okay, they're attached to that. If you pop that silver top off, these also have silver contacts in them. Okay, so more wire. These have a solenoid. The solenoid is not worth money, um, or a capacitor, sorry. Uh, people say that they're dangerous. I have never felt a shock or had a shock. Um, but again, they have a little wire that I cut off, put the, the wire in my uh, low grade wire. They also have a couple nice brass ends. I will put in my brass bucket, but this, the capacitor, again, not worth much, okay? But I just store them up and I bring them in. Because this microwave uh, was more of a dial, uh, there is a little bit of copper on the motors here, okay? And again, there is one of these um, little things that has the silver in it, okay? And if I look inside, there is some gauges in here. There you can see a silver contact right on the end of that, or uh, there's a copper one, but underneath there'll be a silver one, okay? If this was a, a, a more modern microwave, there would be on the bottom, right here, a little circular motor. Um, I don't have, oh yes I do. You'll see it, it's something like this, it's uh, on the bottom. If you open that up, it is uh, full of copper, okay? A lot of people uh, forget that one but it does have copper in it, and uh, fortunately I don't have one beside me, but uh, very easy to pop out. You just take a screwdriver, pop the top off, and it's a lot of just ropey, clean aluminum, okay? And it, the motor is used to run the, um, the plate that, that, uh, that goes around, okay? 
So that's about it. And again, this is your microwave, all steel. Okay, what I used to do is put all my steel in here um, and then take it in as is. Okay, so that's the shell. Now, getting into the smaller items, taking them apart for you. Again, I told you I was taking this off. This is very easy to take off. All I will do is put this into a vise. I will hit this with a hammer, it'll pop out. Okay, there are little pieces of copper on the ends. Some people take that and, and collect it. Uh, you can if you want, um, but I will show you how to take this out. Okay, safety glasses. Okay, sometimes I need a couple of hits. Sometimes I need to play. Sometimes it's... You're not going to work for you this time, are you? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Why this one is, oh, there we go, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, uh, I don't know why it's not coming off, <laughs> but uh, either way, if, um, if I was to pull it off, sorry, like I said, <laughs> most of them come off. Some of them are bolted in somehow, um, but probably because the camera is running. Okay, um, but again, <laughs> if it did come off, which it should, um, I would take the copper, okay, and it will be a nice bowl or a bowl. Okay, again, another way I can do it is just take some wire cutters, open it up, cut it out this way. Okay. Either way, okay, I'll take it out. Sometimes it takes patience, you know. Sometimes things don't go the way you want them to go, and that's that's life. Okay. And I think for me, that's one of the things I love about scrapping is that, you know, sometimes you have to find a different way to do something, or makes you figure out how something go, comes apart. And, so. So you get the point, uh, I won't uh, take it all out, but uh, yeah, nice uh, nice ball of copper that I have here, and I'll clean up the rest later, okay, but it's really nice and thin, um, nice and shiny. Now someone would say, that, that could this be bare bright? Even though it looks bare bright, it's not classified as bare bright because it is very thin, okay? So what I do is I just put it in a bucket, and these are all from different motors and stuff, and it all goes in together. It adds up. Okay, so that is your motor. The rest of this motor will just go into my uh, steel bin. The last thing I want to show you is how to take this transformer apart. Uh, very easy. You take a, a, a grinder. Okay, um, there are a couple welds down the sides here. Okay, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to weld or cut the welds, and this should open and I will be able to remove the copper. Okay, so, try to look 
how this is set up. There it is, okay, there and there. So, oh, first thing I need to do is I need to remove this. So, all right, so I need my angle grinder. I need my helmet because I don't want to get anything in my eyes. Here we go. So that is um, all steel. Okay, so this is all going to go into my steel bin. All right. And to get the copper out, all I need to do is put this, just put it in the vise again. And hit it. Sometimes you might need a screwdriver, sometimes a uh, pry bar. I'm just going to try it this way. and work it down. There is my first spool of copper. Okay, this one is a little bit harder, but you have to kind of rotate it from one side to the other. Get it downwards. Coming out just slowly. And oh, I know why. 
there is, unfortunately, there is a small piece of steel that connects or separates them. I'll take that out. There we go. So another piece of steel on both sides. Another piece of steel, and here we go. So, another beautiful piece of copper. Okay, so to just put it all together, what did I get out of this microwave? I got a ton of steel. Okay, probably about uh, 15 pounds of, of steel. Or actually, you know what? Can't even say that. More than that because of the steel from the transformer. Yeah, for 15, 20 pounds. I got some aluminum. I got lots of nice copper. Clean copper. I got some wiring. And a couple magnets, not money, not worth money, but a little bit of brass. Oh, there's a couple more little pieces of copper that we had. And some silver. So all in all, took me, what, 25, maybe 27 minutes to get this together or put it to, um, to get this all uh, taken apart. Um, best way to, to remove the scraps, uh, to separate it safely, effectively. Uh, and get the best for your uh, your money. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, hopefully to see you next video. Tin Man out.